Turning to Capitol Hill now, one of the Grand Strand and PD's voices eyeing another two years in office in an interview you'll only see right here on WMBF News. Our Julia Richardson joins us in the control room live now. And Julia, what is the big news from Congress and Russell Fry? Well, Eric Fry told me today he plans to run for re-election next year, aiming to continue representing the Grand Strand and the PD in D.C. He says he's proud of what he's done in office so far, but he hasn't checked everything off of his to-do list. It's really important that we continue to hit the ground like we have. Uh, and, and represent the people and listen to them, most importantly. Congressman Russell Fry claims he'll be gunning for your vote next year by continuing to push for what he calls common sense policies. I think we need to focus on the border. I think our debt is out of control. Those are things that like really that really make sense to, to the average American. When I asked about issues like affordability, whether it's housing or groceries, he says he blames extensive government spending. He added that social security and health care programs could be in trouble in the future. If we're serious about keeping these programs afloat and, and serious about uh, extending the life of them to the next generation and the generation after that, then we need to get our spending under control because right now those programs which are uh, huge uh, for so many people that live along our coast and in our state, um, they're very vulnerable right now. He also says the government can fix many of its issues by limiting its own intervention. It's very bleak for, for people on fixed incomes or for working families and so we got to get back to the basics. We got to get back to what government is su supposed to do and we need to look out for our people but we do that by getting government out of the way and allowing growth and opportunity to take place in this country. Fry said he has also been a big supporter of law enforcement and believes crime problems would decrease if the government backed the police. The notion that we're going to defund the police or we're going to demonize the police and make it harder for them, them to do their jobs, I think we need to dispense with that and make sure that we're advocating for our law enforcement officers, uh, both at the state level, the federal level, and the local level. And as for 2024, when I asked about a potential split in the GOP, especially around which candidates support former President Trump, Fry told me he's not concerned. Having a primary is like a family squabble sometimes, and at the end you coalesce around your nominee and you march on to November. These debates have always happened in the Republican Party ever since I can remember, and so I think it's important. I think it's healthy for the conservative movement. Fry also says he is endorsing the former president in 2024, and his indictments will not change that. He was a large part of the reason why we had such a renaissance era for the American people. You look at uh, the economic indicators, uh, the job opportunities, the wage growth, uh, people really flourished under his administration. He added that he works for everyone, whether they support him or not, and he is proud of what he has done since January. Everyone looks at the votes, everyone looks at what happens in Washington, but where I think you have your biggest impact are some of the people that you help back home. Fry also told me that in his next term, he hopes to continue working on securing the border and on some initiatives he has been a part of in the Judiciary and Oversight Committees. In the control room, Julia Richardson, WNBF News.